Yo guys, welcome back to another Showdown Live. Today we have a team featured from my boy Ali Musel uh, 10. Yeah, Ali Musel 10, uh, one of my subs. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. He passed me a team in the UU tier, so we're going to be hopping into UU. Which is really cool because I get to use my uh, my spinning wheel on the thumbnail. So you guys see the uh, the needle now pointing at Latias instead of Lando this time, which is really cool. Uh, I like uh, I like that design. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. But uh, let's hop into the team builder. Uh, one change I made was this was Pursuit. I decided that Knockoff might be better uh, on this team. We got Tentacruel with uh, Black Sludge, Haze, Acid Spray. Uh, Acid Spray is really cool for uh, taking on Suicune, being able to lower its spadef, things like that. Uh, Gligar is standard, uh, nothing much to say about it. Latias is Scarf with Healing Wish. Uh, Scizor is Banded, uh, as you guys saw initially. Togekiss is cool, it's Babiri Berry with uh, Nasty Plot, Air Slash, Roost, and Flamethrower, so it can break through steals. And then we got our uh, Terrakion, star of the team. We'll see who gets thumbnail, I'm not sure yet, obviously, but um, you guys know by now. But uh, we have uh, 200, and, well, I'm not going to talk about the EV spread, it's pretty pretty standard. Uh, but we do have uh, Combat Edge, EQ, and Swords Dance with Rockium, so it's quite nice. So let's uh, let's hop into it, let's try to get some games. Uh, I don't know if the, uh, the UU tier is popping right now, we'll see. Uh, not too many people online, so hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get a, ga uh, a game. But uh, I didn't explain this before, uh, but now you guys know. You can leave me teams for any tier and I'll be able to do them. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll, 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 I can even do PU. Obviously, it's not really gonna work with the uh, the spinning wheel. I guess I'll just keep it on Lando whenever it's, uh, whenever it's anything but uh, the five tiers that are on the wheel. I uh, probably should have just made more tiers on the wheel, like Monotype and Ubers and stuff. But, uh, but it's fine. Whatever. We'll just use Lando for uh, for those uh, placeholders. But yeah, guys, you can leave me teams for any single tier. Uh, as I did mention, I'm very short on teams. <laughs> we still only have these two, so. Uh, leave me your, your teams, your poke paste. Again, I'll leave the link to the website in the description. Uh, give me your uh, your squads that you want to see me use on these episodes, and uh, I'll be using them. So, yeah, let's uh, let's hop into this. Uh, my opponent has a uh, very interesting team, dual water. He's got the Azelf lead, uh, which I think I can't really counter too well, unfortunately. Uh, not much I can do about that, but uh, I think I'm just going to lead... Probably with Gliger and you turn out on the Azelf. Uh, see if he goes for a taunt. Uh, I doubt it. I think he's just going to get up rocks because he does have the Starmie to spin. So uh, now his bullet punch switchins are limited to uh, right now because Manectric's not mega evolved are limited to the blade and to Suicune. So <clears throat> I think I want to take this opportunity to try to just knock out the Azelf uh, and get rid of it. He might just go for a flamethrower. Uh, right here, so if we can get rid of Azelf, that's awesome. If not, then so be it. But he does go directly into Manectric without the Intimidate, uh, and he gets the Static on me, which is hilarious. Uh, that's going to be a little bit annoying for later in the game. I can still U-turn on the majority of his team, though. Knockoff's going to be nice for the Blade, so things like that. Um, right here, my only switch in is Latias, so that's what I'm going to go into. I don't want to catch a, a Flamethrower or an, or an Overheat. So we're just going to go to Lottie as he goes for a Flamethrower, and I'm going to go for a Defog and try to get rid of these Rocks. Uh, if he goes into Azelf, good play, uh, catching the fact that I'm Scarf, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if he'd uh, if he'd make that play. He could go Honchkrow and Pursuit me. That would be a good play, too. Uh, I think his safest play is just either Suicune or Starmie here. Um, he can also obviously Volt right here, uh, but he'll see that I'm Scarf from the fact that I go for Defog. He's going to go for Volt Switch. Uh, so he risked his Manectric, which is okay. Uh, it's not the worst thing. He goes into Azelf, obviously, here. And uh, my only play really is to go back to Gligar again and U-turn again. So he might explode. Uh, so I'm actually going to go for rocks here. He goes for U-turn, so this is good. We do get up our rocks. He can go to Starmie, but I don't think he's going to on a potential uh, U-turn. Uh, he actually does, so good for him. <laughs> but uh, not much I could have done about that. Uh, now, do I want to sack my Gligar just to try to keep up rocks? That's the question. I don't think rocks are that important this game. So, I think that just going into Scizor possibly is a play here that I can make. Tentacruel is also a play. I'll go to Tentacruel as he's going to go probably for spin. Uh, he does go for spin and uh, I'm going to try to get up Toxic Spikes at this point. And uh, he goes for Psyshock, almost knocks me out. Uh, I'm going to keep spamming Toxic Spikes, and then I'm going to try to revenge this thing after with uh, 
with Latias. Does he Psy Shock here? I think he might. Uh, I'm gonna go to Latias. As he does Psy Shock, good. All right, so we're gonna go for Draco Meteor. We're gonna get off a ton of damage on the Starmie. It's gonna go down to 10%. He's gonna go for Ice Beam, and he doesn't get to spin so long as I connect this Bullet Punch, which is really good. So that T-Spike is there to stay, which means his Manectric and his Suicune uh, get weakened gradually, which is gonna be very nice for me. Obviously, I don't have a response to his Manectric at this point, uh, should it come in after. So I'll have to sack my Tentacruel and then probably go to uh, Gligar and try to get up my Rocks as he's taking Toxic uh, while Poison Damage, and then I'll get back in my Scizor and Bullet Punch and knock it out. So that's gonna be the game plan here. Uh, as he does go directly into his Manectric, so this might be a two hit KO. It does look like a 2 hit KO. Should I connect? Um, I think the Gligar's safer though. Because his Starmie isn't leftovers, so it can't come back in. His Suicune comes in. And I am able to get up rocks now. Which means his Starmie's dead. His Manectric is at like 6. And his Azelf uh, is not doing too much here. So we're going to go to... I'm going to go directly into Kiss as opposed to U-turning because I don't want to take the Scald. Uh, as he goes for Calm Mind, I'm going to go for Nasty Plot here. As we are faster, of course, than the Coon. Goes for a Sub. Sweet. Uh, he's on a timer, so I can actually afford to uh, spam Roost here if I want to. He might be Sub Calm Mind Rest? I'm going to Air Slash instead. He's going to take damage. He's going to go for Scald. He's going to do 42. I'm going to Roost off here. And I think I'm just gonna let the uh, the poison damage do its its thing, as he's gonna go for another scald. He does not get the burn again, so we're gonna keep going for roost. I mean, we keep going for roost regardless here. And um, he keeps going for scald. He's not getting this burn right now, as uh, he does have rest. Okay, so that means he's not sleep talk. So I'm gonna start nasty plotting up. We're gonna go for air slash here. We're going to break his sub, and then we're going to attempt to start flinching this thing. So that does 31, he wakes up, gets flinched. We're going to go for another air slash. As that takes 28 off his health, gets another flinch. We're running low on air slashes, but I think we'll be okay. We should be able to 1v1 the coon. And we get off 29 there, get another flinch, and assuming that I get a decent roll here, I'll be able to knock out the Coon. Cool. So now his Manectric kind of has to come in here, which is really nice. Um, I guess Azelf could come in. Uh, at this point, I can just sack Cruel if I want to, though, because Cruel's not doing much. Um, Kiss is a huge threat to him as well. Uh, Manectric does come in, and I'm going to go directly into... Uh, I'm just going to sack off Tentacruel. Because I can't risk Gligar here. He can HP Ice. Uh, he ends up going for Thunderbolt, but I couldn't risk Gligar because Gligar is one of the ways that I can beat the Deblade. So now I'm going to go to Scizor. As he brings in his Azelf, I'm going to attempt to Bullet Punch this thing. If I don't get it off, uh, Gligar can still U-turn on this, but we do get off the Bullet Punch, which is great. And now we just have to deal with Deblade. So how do we do that? We go to Togekiss and we Flamethrower it first. He's going to go for Swords Dance, and we're going to go for Flamethrower. It's going to do a lot of damage, and we're going to get a burn. So his Iron Head's actually not going to kill me here because of Beery Berry. Uh, and I'm going to go for Roost repeatedly. And uh, I could go for Flamethrower again here, but I don't think it's worth it because his Shadow Sneak is not going to do anything, realistically. Because Iron Head... Uh, well, Iron Head could still knock me out here. It does a lot, <laughs> and it almost knocks me out. So... I think the Terrakion just wins anyway, though. Unless the Honchkrow's Scarfed, I guess. But even then, it shouldn't knock out Terrak. So I'm just going to go for Flamethrower here. He's obviously going to Shadow Sneak. Um, can I allow the Honchkrow to get a boost, is the question. So if I go Gligar and I just click Earthquake, because <clears throat> he's probably going to click Iron Head because he doesn't want me recovering all that much uh, HP. Uh, well, actually, Iron Head's not going to do that much anyway, so I, I might as well Roost. Because he's burned, so he's at neutral essentially, and I'm max defense, so his Deblade's not going to do any damage to me with Iron Head. I'm just going to Roost here, as he's going to go for the Iron Head exactly, 20%, that's absolutely nothing. I'm going to go for Roost again, 
as he goes for a what another iron head cool and as the blade goes down and he tries to bring out Starmie and that dies too uh, and we're gonna go for the U-turn here as he goes for Brave Bird does a lot of damage but we are able to bring in Terrakion and go for the Continental Crush and that's the Life Orb Honchkrow so it's going to die <laughs> so uh, yeah goodbye and that's game one beautiful so I think we played that decently uh, the static on uh, scissor could have been really problematic for me but it didn't end up costing me so that's nice uh, now this is a pretty old team by the way I do want to mention that to you guys uh, it's a, the uh, the creator of the team uh, allied or or Aliad. I'm, I'm really sorry bro I don't know how to pronounce your name uh, but uh, he told me that uh, it was a uh, team he made a long time ago and he didn't know if it was updated to the current meta, but I think it's it's pretty good. I think it does its job, so... Uh, and all of these mons are still huge threats, regardless. So, we're gonna lead off with uh, with Scizor here, as it's a good response to pretty much everything but Delphox. Uh, however, Delphox has to deal with Gligar. I don't really want to catch a trick, though. That would be annoying. Um... But I am going to go Gligar regardless, as he's going to go for a Psychic. That looks like Specs. So, I can bring in Lottie here, I guess. Lottie's not bad. Yeah, we'll go Lottie. As he goes to Pert. Okay, cool. So, I think we're just going to drop a Draco on this Pert's head. As he doesn't have great uh, responses to Draco. <clears throat> to Blade is one of them. That's about it. I'm going to go to Gligar. If he has Pursuit, then he has Pursuit. But that also means that my Gligar heals up, so... Uh, Latias is pretty important this game, though, I would say. Delphox is going to come back in. I'm going to go back to Lottie. I don't really have a reason not to. He's going to go for Fire Blast. It's going to do a good amount of damage, but not nearly enough. We're going to go for Draco again. And he doesn't have great Draco switch-ins, so... I'm going to hit the Blade again with another Draco. That does 36. I'm going to go back to Gligar. And, uh, let's see what he does. As he decides to double out to Delphox again. Alright. Um... Now... Psychic, that was a Psychic, right? That came off, yeah, it was 56%. So he's pretty free to go for it again here. Um, and that's um, what I'm assuming he's going to go for. I'm going to go to Latias again, as he goes for another Fire Blast. And uh, we're just going to go for another Draco. <laughs> it's like, it's it's a perpetual cycle here. And um, <clears throat> the Blade's going to drop. So the Blade's out of the way. Beedrill comes in. Which I'm not really sure why. I'm assuming he's gonna knock off or pursuit. I'm as as important as this is. I think that uh, Scizor can carry me through this game pretty nicely. So I'm just gonna Draco here, and I'm gonna get some damage off on this thing and see what he goes for. He does end up going for the pursuit, so that was the correct play. That's good. And now, 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 we can go to Gligar and heal up and roost everything off as he goes for a U-turn. Great. Brings in his pert. Uh, rocks are going to be super important now, so I am going to prioritize getting them up. Uh, even if he ice beams me, that's fine. He's going to go for his own rocks, and I'm going to U-turn out of here. And I'm probably going to bring in my kiss at this point, as he goes for a skull. Does a good amount of damage, not nearly enough though. And he does not have a good air slash switch in on his team, so he's going to go to Rakion. A uh, few plays I can make, I can go directly into my Terrakion and resist the rock move that I know is probably coming out. I can also go to Scizor just to tank the hit, but I think that Scizor is what's winning me this game, ultimately. So I think I'm going to go Terrak and risk the uh, close combat here. Uh, as he does go for the Stone Edge, that looks like Banded. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to SD up, uh, assuming that he's going to go... Wow, he actually went Beedrill. Okay, um, so I'm going to go Scizor. Uh, he can knock me off, obviously. He's going to end up going for a drill run. Gets a crit, which is really unfortunate. Because uh, that sort of matters. I'm going to go for bullet punch here. Obviously, he can go to pert. If he wants to go to pert, then so be it. Uh, Beedrill has one more switch in. But, uh, but Scizor's still looking pretty solid. Um, so I'm really surprised that he went to Rakion, though. Like, that was, that was a shocker right there. Uh, I'm going to go to Tentacruel now. And uh, I'm going to try to burn the Rotom. Because I'm assuming that's what would come in on me. Uh, if he decides to switch, that is, with Pert. He decides to go into Delphox, so now he's going to get off a free Psychic here. Not too much I can do about that. Uh, I don't know if I'll die, however. So I'm going to attempt to Scald here, as I do just die. So we're going to bring in Terrakion now. And uh, we're going to go for a Continental Crush. Should I go for a Continental Crush? Should I go for an Earthquake? I'm going to go for an Earthquake. 
Um, I don't think he can afford taking damage on his Swampert, but he does anyway. Uh, and I'm going to go Kiss here. As he can go for a Scald if he wants to. Uh, I'm going to go for the Air Slash here. Try to flinch this thing down. Terrakion can't really come in on this. Well, it could. I'm sort of in the back here, but I think that Delphox is already in range of... Um, hold on. Delphox versus Scizor. Choice Band. Okay, so it's not. It's not yet in range. Rotom takes a massive hit. Uh, I can't really switch, so I'm going to go for Flamethrower. He's going to go for Thunderbolt. Uh, however, I do get in Gligar now. And I need to start weakening this Pert a little bit. So I'm going to go for a an Earthquake here. As he ends up going for Z, this is Bloom Doom? Yeah, it's Bloom Doom. Okay. Um, I don't think Scizor can win under these conditions because Delphox is still too healthy. Uh, and so is the Pert. However, he has no Scarfer. So if I go to Terrakion, he has to Drill Run, which can miss. Um, so I'm going to go for Crush here. We're going to knock out the Rotom. And if I crit the Pert and crit the Delphox with Bullet Punch, I could win. Uh, well, now I can't because he went B Drill. Well, unless he misses Drill Run. So let's try. He does not miss Drill Run, so that's going to be the game, unfortunately. Um, he brought in Delphox aggressively so many times, and there wasn't much I could do about it. Specs Delphox is obviously a threat to this team, so uh, we'll move on to the next game. That's fine. Um, by the way, guys, let me know what you, you think of this background. I, I kind of like it. I like just my logo there. I think it's uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I loved the uh, the Celebi in the back for the longest time. It was, it was awesome, but, uh, but I think this represents me a little bit more because I'm more of a Draft League player than I am a Ladder player. So, I think this uh, this does me justice. But uh, but let me know what you, what you think. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. But yeah, uh, I I like the team. Um, but it does have weaknesses like like Delphox, <laughs> for example, is a is a massive threat to this team. Delphox plus B drill is really cool. I like that that combination. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a while to get games. It's pretty late. Uh, this is the eve of the announcement of the big reveal. By the time you guys are watching this, the the reveal for uh, Pokemon uh, King and Queen or Crown and Scepter or whatever they decided to call it uh, has already happened, and all of you are on the hype train and probably not even watching this video. For those of you who are, thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are excellent subscribers. Uh, if you know what that's referencing, by the way, then uh, you are an excellent chess player. Uh, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of this uh, this one guy's chess channel. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we got a game, finally. Ola Noon. <laughs> Ola Noon. Oh, buddy. Um, what does he counter lead Terrakion with? I guess Slowbro? So I'll lead Scizor. Uh, as he leads Aurorus, I can superpower this. He could be faster than me. He could be faster than me and go for HP Fire. Bullet Punch will destroy this thing, though. Uh, he's Sash, obviously. He's probably going to go for a... Yeah, Hidden Power Fire. Okay. Um, so, I kind of just have to deal with the uh, Sand Slash, essentially. I'm going to go to Tentacruel here, and I'm going to go for a Scald. Uh, he's got dual setup with... Uh, with Como and Lanoon. Okay, so this thing is neutralized. However, this thing is actually the problem on because he has the Veil. This is what's gonna set up Veil. And what's gonna end up being super annoying. So, I don't really have a way to stop that, realistically. Um, he definitely has Icicle Crash on this thing. Probably Earthquake and uh, Iron Head as well. So, like, my entire team is weak to it, essentially. Um, I'm going to get up a T-Spike. And he's faster than me, which is actually nice, because I can keep going for T-Spikes. And his setup mons are not a problem either, because I have Haze. His Earthquake is doing no kinds of damage, thanks to the burn. And we're going to keep going for T-Spikes, because I assume that he has Rapid Spin, which he does. Beautiful. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna keep going for T-Spikes. 
Um, he's no longer faster than me though. And how much did my skull do? My skull did 37. So with the burn, uh, I mean with the veil up, it's going to do a little bit less. Um, but now I have to scald. Because now he's probably going to spam spin. Yeah, exactly. And he's going to drop to the... Huh. Let's go for T-Spikes anyway. Because he's going to drop to the burn this turn. He go ends up going Como, which I don't really mind too much. Um, as I can just click Haze, essentially. I think he's belly... He I think he's dual belly drum. He could be Clangorous as well. So I'm actually going to go Togekiss to cover it. Let's see. He goes for sub. Okay. So he's sub... Um... I could have stayed in with Cruel and just clicked Haze repeatedly. Um, so you're going to go for a... I'm going to go for Air Slash. He's going to go for Belly Drum. <clears throat> and he's going to get a Salic Berry raise. However, we're going to break his sub and the Salic Berry doesn't matter because I have Latias. So Scarf Latias should be able to remedy this. Um, Sand Slash dies. This takes poison and I can haze it with Cruel. Um... He can only go into Crook on my Latias and then Pursuit it. I'm assuming he's going to go for Poison Jab here. There's another course of action that I could take, which sort of seems better. And that's going into Gligar on the Poison Jab and then subsequently going into Tentacruel on the uh, Drain Punch just to keep my Kiss alive. Because I think I'd rather my Cruel drop than my Kiss. But I could be wrong. Terrakion takes E speed, but if I let it get too low, then his crook does work. So I think the sack is actually Togekiss. He ends up going for a drain punch, which does absolutely nothing, and he's gonna die to the air slash. So like that's amazing. <laughs> Best case scenario for me. Um Lanoon can obviously come in. Uh, he ends up going Aurorus. I am faster than Aurorus. So I'm just gonna go for the well, he wants to get up Veil, right? That's the idea behind going into this. So, is there any way I can stop that? Not really. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna flamethrower here and knock this thing out. He's gonna go into his Sand Slash. Thing is, on his Slash, I'm gonna click Nasty Plot. So he's gonna get a Veil, or he actually ends up going for Spin, which might even be better for me. <laughs> Cause now his Lanoon probably drops to this. And by probably, I mean almost definitely. It's a pretty powerful Air Slash. He ends up going to Slowbro. I'm not sure why, cause this is gonna take a tremendous amount. He's gonna go for Calm Mind. All I need is one flinch and you're done. So this is good. Um, he can't win with uh, Scarf Crook because of um, Gligar. He ends up taking 37 there, he gets flinched, and that's pretty much the end of Slowbro. We'll just flamethrower here. And Hail ends as well, which means I take no more damage. The Lanoon can come in if it wants to, I don't really care. Um, and then I can Air Slash this thing. <clears throat> as he goes for a Belly Drum, he's gonna get his Berry. And that's going to do 100. <laughs> so that's a dead Lanoon. So this setup team, uh, for anybody that knows what's going on, doesn't really work too well. I'm surprised he didn't have Poison Jab on Como, though. I, I really am. Um, I'm just going to Flamethrower here. I've, I clicked Flamethrower so many times with Kiss this game. So far, Kiss looking like uh, probably the thumbnail, which is uh, cool because I don't think I've ever had a Togekiss in the thumbnail. And this is yet another matchup that Togekiss absolutely loves. All I need is like a little bit of damage on the uh, on the Aggron and plus two flamethrower knock knocks it out. I think it knocks it out from like 55, from what I remember from the Calyx. So uh, obviously this is a game where I have to be very, very careful of Primarina. That's like the biggest threat in my way. Um, I'm even considering leading with Terrakion and just Zing right off the bat. Because uh, Primarina from Terrak... Uh, do I have this set? No, I don't. Hold on. Let me just grab the sets real quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's put that there. 
and let's see. Uh, show only imported sets. Where's Terrakion? There. Uh, so Stone Edge Z definitely knocks it out. Yeah, 115. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to lead with Terrakion. If he leads with Primarina, uh, okay, well, he leads with Agron, ultimately. Um, Agron's not too bad, though, because that gives me a Gligar. And obviously, he can go into Primarina after, but uh, I think that getting up rocks is super, super good for me here. So, probably a water move coming out. I'll go Tentacruel, because Tentacruel doesn't have a huge role this game. Uh, maybe getting a burn on Agron or uh, Hydra, but that's about it. It cannot deal with Amoongus. It cannot deal with Hydra in general. And he ends up Psychicking, which is a really good play. Um, it's a play that I thought about, but I didn't need to. I didn't feel the need to act on it. So now I'm gonna go Scizor uh, as he doubles to Hydra, which is cool. Um, I think Kiss is fine here. Kiss is okay as he goes for Defog. Okay, so he's a Defog variant. Um. I'm gonna go to Gligar here, as he ends up going back to Agron. So this is good. Uh, gonna get up rocks again, as he ends up going for his own rocks. So this is great for me, I can Earthquake now. Uh, as he goes back to Hydra, no big deal. I can just go for rocks. As he goes for Deep Pulse, uh, he gets a flinch, that's fine. So he doesn't know that I clicked rocks there. And I'm just gonna Roost, he goes for Draco. Okay, so he's not choice, so that's good to know because now I can bring in Terrakion and just start causing havoc um, as I can go for close combat here uh, the only switch in he has is Amoongus I might consider Zing that uh, he actually ends up letting his Hydra go down so that means that rocks are here to stay uh, goes Primarina I'm going to Continental Crush this 100% and knock it out <clears throat> so that threats neutralized now he brings in Heracross and this is where things get a little iffy because um, if I let this thing get a moxie boost uh, I'm in trouble so I need to go to Kiss, as he's Flame Orb. Okay, are you Flame Orb adamant? You 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 are jolly. Okay, um, <laughs> so he has drop defense, obviously. Tarak can clean up this game, but now that I don't have like a good Earthquake response or like a good Crook response in general, this that just made this a lot harder. Um, Scizor can obviously superpower here. Tentacruel is faster and can get off a of Scald. Uh, which I think is gonna be my play. I'm gonna go to Cruel and just Scald, because I want this thing a little bit lower. To the point where I believe uh, Terrakion's close, no, not close combat, maybe Earthquake would be able to knock it out from here. It's minus one. Uh, yeah, no, definitely unfortunate that I can't do that, huh? Um, so do I just BP here? Or do I go to Rack? Let's go to Rack. And I'm gonna calc. Um, I probably should have done this before going into Terrakion, but uh, we're gonna go Terrakion, Earthquake at minus one defense. Does a min of 34. So yeah, Earthquake's my play. So we're gonna knock out the Heracross, which is great. Amoongus is gonna come in, so it's definitely gonna Spore. Um, I don't think I need Latias as much. So that Spore goes off. Uh, we can go into Scizor on a potential HP fire, which would be kind of dangerous, uh, but we'll do it anyway. Because we, uh, you know, we don't care out here. <laughs> um, knockoff would be really good here if I catch the Amoongus. U-turn's also quite nice. I think I'm just gonna superpower though, to weaken the Aggron, as he's going to go for the Fire Punch and knock me out. Um, he cannot sleep my Terrakion anymore. I don't know if Giga Drain knocks me out straight. I don't think it does. Do I take out Agron from here? Agron, Mega. Close combat is only doing 40. Well, no, it does 40 to 48. Okay, so the roll's in my favor. So I am going to go for close combat. As obviously he can go into Amoongus if he wants to. So now his Agron's definitely in range. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Latias, as he's gonna go for the Giga Drain. I'm going to attempt to wake up in Draco, as he goes to Crook. We're gonna go for Draco. As we do wake up, we are able to get the Crook down to 10%, as he goes for Pursuit, which does not knock me out, and we're gonna go for another Draco here. And I'm just gonna keep going for Draco Meteor, as I end up missing. Gonna go for another one. Uh, 
Yeah, I couldn't switch there either, so. I think this is a loss, but it depends on if... Well, one, I'd have to crit here. And two, the crook would have to not knock me out. So let's go for edge. We miss uh, as Spore comes out for some reason. He could have just gone for Giga Drain, but okay. That's fine. Yeah, and Giga Drain was only doing that much. Uh, I needed to crit the uh, the edge there to, to be able to win. But uh, but that's fine. Uh, GG to my opponent. He got this one. Um, what did I do wrong? I misunder I underestimated Heracross. I switched it out on what turn? I woke up and I got off there. Okay, so a crit wouldn't have even killed. Good to know. Um, Togekiss, this used close combat. He then he went for facade. I could have switched in scissor. So assuming, I assumed that his Heracross was adamant and that was incorrect. So I'll keep that in mind for next time. I think that you'd want an adamant Heracross. I could have probably calced it on Kiss, honestly, the close combat damage, and then just seen if it was uh, if it was adamant. But you know, it's fine. Uh, you too, bro. You too. So, Empoleon, Infernape's probably the lead. Arrow's pretty good here uh, against me. Bullet Punch does a lot of work. If I'm able to catch the Empoleon with a superpower, Bullet Punch is pretty much going to knock everything out. Um, so let's... Huh. Hold on. Let's lead with Tentacruel. Um... Not because of Celebi, I wanted to catch the arrow on the lead. But what's really good here is that I can go for a T-Spike. He can go for rocks if he wants to, that's not a problem. Um, and what's really good about the T-Spike now is that he has to defog his own rocks away. So I'm gonna go to, hmm, do I switch out here? I could have sludge bombed him, and he stayed in. And I'm a tentacruel, so I could have spun as well. It's a little bit interesting that he made that play. Um, but he is a Celebi. He is a psychic type, obviously. So, I think that Gliger's fine here. Let's see what he does. He ends up going for psychic. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for roost. I'm slower, so he shouldn't be able to knock me out with anything unless he's Z. Uh, but Stealth Rock Z seems unlikely. He's gonna go for another psychic. I'm gonna go for Roost, and then I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks as he U-turns. Uh, he brings in Empoleon. Uh, now I'm assuming that he's going to want to defog first. So I'm gonna go for the, uh, he actually ends up going for knockoff. So good play on his part, getting rid of my uh, my EV Light. However, his Empoleon is dead. And that means that his likely defogger is also dead. That's really nice. Arrow comes in. Arrow has to go for Ice Fang to knock me out. And at this point, Empoleon's already gone. So I think that Scizor is fine here. If he stone edges, obviously it's gonna hurt. He misses, unfortunately, so that's gonna be a, a tough break for my opponent. Uh, I wouldn't have died, obviously. It would've done a lot, but I wouldn't have died. And uh, I had other win cons as well in the back, so uh, that's, that's unfortunate for him, but what do you want? Uh, we're already at 33 minutes, damn. Okay, so some of these games were pretty long. Uh, I think this is gonna be the last one. We'll, uh, we'll end it on this next game. Uh, also, the wait time between games probably makes it unbearable, but <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? Recording at 2 a.m., this is uh, this is the treatment I get. Uh, I spent a lot of tonight trying to set up the stream for, well, today, the day that you guys are watching this. Um, so I spent a lot of time trying to set up everything on YouTube, gaming so that I could get the stream going uh, for when the, uh, the reveal came around. So that I could, uh, you guys could get my live reaction to the uh, to the whole thing. Uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, hopefully by tomorrow, I'm like chatting about it everywhere. Uh, Discord. If you guys have me in any of your your Discord servers, uh, then be looking out for me because I'm gonna be like praising the game. Pro I hope. I hope I'm gonna be praising the. Oh God, <laughs> he has a tailo. Oh no. What am I gonna do? What do I do against this tailo? It's focus. <laughs> oh no! I'm I'm, t I'm terrified of this Taylor. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna leave Kiss. Cause I feel like that's my only option. Is just flinch it. Right? Air slash flinch. Come on. <laughs> let's 
Let's go. If I get this, though, this thing gets knocked out. He ends up going to Aggron. Okay, so solid play. So he doesn't want his uh, Taylor taking damage. I'm going to go to Gligar. And uh, I, <laughs> I want a U-turn. <laughs> Catching the Taylor. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not getting that in on me. Sorry, bro. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, to Tentacruel here. Uh, and I'm just going to Scald. He can go for Protect if he wants to. He's just giving me Black Sledge Recovery, so that's fine. <laughs> he ends up letting the Taylor go. Cool. Okay, so free member gone. Whew! <laughs> okay, that thing was scary. That thing could have endeavored and quick attacked everything. <laughs> Especially with Wish Passes. <laughs> Imagine if he Healing Wished it with Blissey. Oh my god, that could have been terrible. Um, he has a T-Spike Absorber, so there's no point uh, for me to get up T-Spikes here. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is get rid of uh, the rocks as soon as possible. He ends up going for knockoff. Why did that do 41? Is this thing banded? Hold on a second. Aloe's not that strong. Hold on. Latias. Let me see knock. Okay, no, it's 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 a normal knock damage. Okay, I was kind of shocked. I'm gonna go for defog here, as he's gonna go for a wish. That's fine. Um, and the scarf is gone, which is actually nice this game because it means that I can switch up moves. Not that it matters too too much. Um, I don't know what you'd pass a wish into. I guess maybe like Agron. I'm gonna go to cruel though. As he ends up going for another knock, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for T spike here, and that's because I want to bring in Tentacruel. I want I want to bait it in. So basically, Togekiss can win if it gets up to obviously plus six. Um, it's relatively simple to uh, to get it to win. Um, now he's definitely going into Tentacruel. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, why aren't you going Cruel, bro? Why are you playing games with this thing? I kind of just want to bring in my Turek <laughs> on his knockoff. I'm going to Acid Spray, though. If he keeps going for knockoff, then I'll, I'll reconsider my play here. Just keeps going for it. Uh, let's go for Scald. Scald's now going to do 20, so he's finally going to bring this Cruel. I just wanted to burn this thing, and we got it. Good. All right. So uh, let's bring in... Mm. <laughs> let's bring in Latias. <laughs> let's not bring in Kiss, because Kiss wins. If it gets up to plus six, it actually just kills everything. As we get in Latias on his uh, Scald, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to double the Gligar here because I know he's not going to want to let his Cruel take a Psychic. As he is going to go Blissey, fantastic. Are you a rocker too, Blissey? Let me go for Stealth Rocks here. We do get him up. He goes for Seismic Toss, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna go for U-Turn. If he stays in, then I get into Rakion. And I can go for a Swords Dance. And his Gligar is gonna drop to plus two Rakion. He ends up going to Tentacruel, which is not gonna take this Earthquake at all. Like, at all. I'm not sure why he went Cruel. Um, Cruel's now gone, beautiful. All right, what's coming in? Aloe, Gligar, Alamomola. Do I want to burn the Z-move now? Yeah, because all I need is close combat after. So even if he protects, it doesn't matter because uh, I just get off a close combat now. It's plus two. It should be able to knock out Aloe. This is a strong mod, man. Yeah, there we go. All right, so Aloe's gone. Uh, all we have left is Agron, the Gligar, and my opponent left. So let's just put on the timer and uh, hope that he doesn't come back. Um, because if he does, then we're going to have to hit a stone edge at some point. But uh, but yeah, this was fun. Uh, I did enjoy the team. We I think we went 3-2 and two with it. So solid record. Um, I was able to, to play it decently. Uh, I think knock over pursuit on Scizor is still better because of the blade. I think just catching the blade on the switch in and getting rid of its uh, its EV light is huge for Togekiss. It's huge for Terrakion. So I think that having a knockoff mod on the team is really important. 
um, for this sort of build. But yeah, that's uh, that's how we're gonna end it, guys. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy it. As usual, uh, make sure to leave a like down below if you did. Uh, leave me your comments with your teams uh, down there as well. I do want to be able to uh, to use your teams in some of, uh, some of these episodes. Eventually, I'm gonna start rebuilding my own uh, my own repertoire of teams. And I'll be able to uh, to hop back on the ladder on my own without your guys' help. But right now, I really do need your help uh, because I I'm in multiple leagues. Uh, I've uh, you guys know I have a full time job. Uh, I'm trying to get this channel back up and running and uh, just a ton of stuff all at once. So uh, taking time to to build teams right now is not really feasible for me. Uh, if you guys just send me your pace, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. So uh, and I do really appreciate it. And like I said, I'll, I'll shout anybody anybody out that gives me a team so leave those in the uh in the comment section down below for me and i'll be happy to use them and uh yeah guys uh like i said leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys next time ciao